Hello everybody, we are going to talk about the Sphinx, and I think we might have identified, or at least found some clues as to who the Sphinx is. Now, this is, as we know, Khufu, and Khufu himself looks a lot like the Sphinx, but not quite, and I am talking about the square jaw. Um, the Sphinx does have quite a lot of this going on. It's almost the same shape, but the eyes totally different. The ears are different. I'm going to show you a closer match to the Sphinx, but uh, not just yet. And Anubis. There is a, a clue that the Sphinx was changed in Khufu's reign, because not only did he totally overhaul the Giza Plateau, but he had no respect for the gods, and Herodotus the father of history and the father of lies, points out that Khufu just didn't like the Egyptian gods and he shut down all the temples so that people would instead work on the pyramid or for some other reason. He may have been the, the first monotheist long before Akhenaten. So it stands to reason that if he didn't like the gods, he had a motive to change the original Sphinx, whatever it was, a lion or a dog or a bull or whatever, into something else. And history remembers him as a, a bit of a megalomaniac. So why would he not change it to his daughter? Why not his daughter? We're going to get to that. And this is Queen Nofret. The, she is not the Sphinx. I, I've, I've been looking through so many, through so many rulers and it's 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 hard to find any now he has very snaky eyes very oh, i don't know almost like a reptile and so does she and she is khufu's daughter nefer tiabet beautiful tiabet or tia or and the thing that gets me is the ears the ears just match up so well, just so well, really well, like, and I mean exact, exact. So Khufu had motive, he had all the opportunity in the world because he was the one overhauling the Giza Plateau, and yeah, just look at those ears. Now, there's even more evidence, okay. The daughter of Khufu, and we don't know which daughter Herodotus was talking about, was a bit of a Marie Antoinette type figure. And she was hated. It seems Khufu was hated, and she was hated as well, because Herodotus tells two different stories about her. He says, on the one hand, that Khufu was so bad that he forced her into prostitution to, to help pay for his pyramid. So he was a real scrounger. And there's another story that she herself was also wanted to build her pyramid on the site. And so she she made sure that every one of her clients had to pay her with a, a huge block of stone. So there's something interesting going on there as well. So it seems she was hated, but those stories don't seem to by themselves make a lot of sense. It looks like she might have had a large part to play in changing what was on the Giza Plateau. So, we go on, and, and this is, uh, I presume, from her tomb. The Sphinx also has these huge eyes. Now, um, this lady herself, very large eyes, they don't quite look the same. They don't quite look the same, but they could be. And... The thing is, why would the Sphinx stay the same for thousands and thousands of years? I would think everyone would want to change it, every megalomaniac. And there have been a lot of crazy people in charge of Egypt, believe me. There have been a lot of megalomaniacs, and the eyes could have been altered. If we actually look at the eyes, something very strange has happened. Look, there's damage. The eyes have been chiseled out. There may have been... Uh, whites, there may have been uh, eyes, there may have been jewels here, and the nose. So the eyes are gone and the nose is gone. And this is what happens to statues of real people so that they basically can't enjoy the afterlife. You destroy the vision and the soul can't escape from the statue to wander around at nighttime like a mummy. So 
the eyes have been destroyed, but they also might have been enlarged and widened. And it's really hard to find someone in in Egyptian history with huge eyes as big as the Sphinx in proportion to the face. So we've seen the, the jaw of Khufu, the ears, her ears, they're the same. What else? Well... I've looked at some other possible queens, and Hatshepsut, possibly also known as the Queen of Sheba, doesn't really fit though. She's actually probably a bit too attractive to be the Sphinx. Uh, different eyes. Look, those eyes are, are close. Okay, this is a, a lesser known Hatshepsut picture. It's close, but no, it's not the same, and the ears obviously are very different. And there's more. This is Hetaferes, also related to Khufu. Just look at that gown, that dress. It's unbelievable, almost like uh, Art Deco, 1920s, 1930s. It's, uh, it's a bit strange. There's not enough information about what she actually looked like. That picture is pretty dodgy. And then I saw this guy. I was thinking, well... The last people who could have altered the Sphinx in their image would have been those megalomaniacal Ptolemy pharaohs that, you know. And I looked at the Cleopatras. It's none of them. It really is none of them. They don't look anything like the Sphinx. But I saw this guy's eyes, Ptolemy the Tenth, and something told me, damn, they look a lot like the eyes on the Sphinx. Because it is huge in proportion to his face. He was not the brightest spark, but he did mess with ancient monuments. For example, he was his army left him. He got in, involved with the a civil war in the Seleucid Empire nearby, and his army deserted him. So he went to Syria to raise a mercenary army, and they said, how, how are you going to pay us? And he said, well... Uh, I've got just the thing. So he led them back to Egypt and he dug up Alexander's tomb and he he melted down the gold sarcophagus and he paid them with that. And this so enraged the citizens of Alexandria that they actually deposed him again. Now, given the fact that he messed with Alexander, could he also have messed with the Sphinx? Because those eyes are similar. But then again, the rest, we just can't tell. But yeah, they, damn, they're big eyes. And we also look at this person from the Old Kingdom. I don't think it was her. It looks nothing like her, Nofret. But just look at that face, that concern. You know, she knows she's queen and all this responsibility. It's, it's just an unbelievable likeness, almost like a photograph. So it's not Nofret. It looks nothing like Nofret. The ears are just, the ears are too big. Uh, too big. But yes, she she was of Khufu's family, but they're not quite the same. No. And again, Nofret. No, I don't think it's Nofret. It, there's just too many differences, if that is Nofret. No, sorry, this is another one. This is Sobek Nefru from the Middle Kingdom. We think it was Sobek Nefru. I actually think that's an old kingdom. That's an old kingdom monument. But as you see, look look what they do to the eyes. The eyes have been removed. The nose has been smashed. They even took the chin off. Someone went around in the ancient times with a huge amount of hatred inside them. So uh, it's a bit weird. But she was. Um, if this is a statue of Sobek Nefru, she was the final queen of the twelfth dynasty, ruled for three years. And that's also possibly Sobek Nefru and, uh, yeah, the big ears. They all had that in the, the 12th dynasty. And again, Ptolemy X, I, I really do think that if you really uh, compare, those eyes are big enough to be the eyes of the Sphinx. But, but I think he's got the biggest eyes out of all the Ptolemies. So it could, be, it could be him, but there's nothing related There's nothing related in history that he actually did change the Sphinx, and there should be something. So unlikely. I do think, therefore, it's very likely that this is the Sphinx. This is the daughter of Khufu, Nefertiabit. 
and she prevailed upon her father to change the Sphinx from a dog or whatever into her own image, and her father said, fine, good idea. Guys, thank you very much.